There is a very common mistake according to which in Iceland we have the boundary between the American plate and uh, Eurasian plate. This is wrong. And why? Because we have another plate, a less known plate between these two. It's a microplate. It's called Hrapper microplate. This is where we have no earthquakes, no volcanism, yes, no volcanism, and no tremors of any kind that can actually threaten the life. Of course, this is in the central parts of the Iceland, where the western uh, volcanic zone and the southern volcanic zone come in contact. The triple point of that is bounded what, what we call as Hengil volcanic system. This is a nasty volcanic system, one of the biggest of the sequence of the volcanic systems in the Reykjanes Peninsula. It had erupted last time in 2000 years ago, and it has a large lava field. Because it's close to the glacials, it can be potentially explosive. At the moment, it is a source of the geysers, the geothermal uh, you know, uh, fountains of hot springs, as you can see here. And uh, they can erupt to a beautiful height, several hundred meters sometimes. This is because at the depth, the groundwater comes in contact with the uh, rocks which are heated by the magma from the previous eruptions. This is practically the lower to the middle part of the Ophiolite system that we know from the Oman, Cyprus, Iran, America, Australia, even Britain. These are the areas that the volcanic eruption happened in the past. Of course, this Reckoness Peninsula has been active over the past few years. We had the Fagerdesfjord, Meridolo, Little Kortor, Sundunka, Hagafell, Grindavik, and again Sunduka too. Eruptions happening one after another. These volcanic systems are extending where the air course is extending and getting thinner and opening up a way for the magma to rise to form actually by the melting of the top part of the mantle and rise and erupt as lava. Each volcanic system on its own transfers the movement, the thinning of the ground from one system through this process of badinage, means sausage making. These are like a sausage rolls twisted at certain points, starting from the uh, Atlantic Ocean in the Reckoness Ridge, and then earthquakes transfer through that reach to the Reckoness Peninsula and through every single volcanic system that we have there, Elfdorf, Swartzengi, Fagadesfjol, Krisovik, Bernesteinfjol, and the last one is Hengil one. And the Hengil after that is in the triple junction for the south and the western volcanic zones. So transferring of the movements happens there. Hengil is the last in the chain. When the others have erupted, Hengel will be the last one to erupt. And when the others have the tremors and movement, Hengel will be the last one to receive the movement, to accommodate the movement. Otherwise, they practically, they cannot move if they don't accommodate this movement. Hengel is always the last. So in that sense, we can say that this is difficult to move the Hengel. And now the Hengel, we have earthquakes in that area, which is now moving. The transformation of the movement from the Reckoness Ridge to the Reckoness Peninsula is not completed. And as the time goes by, when the Krisovic volcanic system is awakening, next is the Bernstein fuel activated, and then the Hengil volcanic system. One by one, they will erupt in the future, over the next decades probably.